Hi, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is going to be your general mini cross reading for August 2020. I have some notes here. Um, we are, uh, tomorrow is our full moon. It's going to be the full moon uh, with Sun. Okay, full moon opposing Sun. So they're on opposite sides of the sky. So the moon is going to be at zero Aquarius and the Sun is going to be at zero uh, Leo and this is going to trigger that series of eclipses that we had across the Leo Aquarius axis from 2017 all the way up to the last one which was in January 20th of um, 2019 and that was also at zero degrees both at zero degrees it was a huge eclipse so um, we're going to be taking a look at that for you this will in effect kind of be affecting your ninth house perhaps um your ninth house is the house of foreigners foreign travel higher education uh religion um you know philosophy um those types of things so let's just take a look and see what the cards have to say may not even talk about that you never know with the cards so I've already done some meditation and shuffling on your sign I, I'm looking a little I'm probably a little spaced out because YouTube is really making it difficult to continue to post videos if you're not one of the big you know channels where you've got you know millions of subscribers you know they're making it really really difficult so I'm gonna have to figure something else out <laughs> Most definitely. So I have with me the radio, uh, the radiant white deck. I have the La Vida Sibilis, and you'll get an opportunity to formulate one question to the angel answer cards. Okay, this is the deck that I'm using for the month of August. So let me turn the camera on. Don't y'all look at my office because I'm still I'm redoing it all over again. Okay, I finally got all my books in here, and I got books around all the corners of the walls. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull the. Uh, cards here. Yeah, these ain't even half the books. I still got some of them sitting in the uh, in the hallway there. All right, so here we go. What is the current issue at hand? What is the energy? It is the King of Pentacles. Okay, and even though this is a uh, a reading for Sagittarius. Uh, this could be you. Maybe you're about to start a business. Maybe you already own a business. Um, maybe you're working in a profession where you handle money or you deal with other people's monies, right? Okay. And so what is the foundation of this issue? Oh, wow. It is the Nine of Cups. Not bad. Not bad. What is the energy of the near and distant past? Wow. It is the Hierophant. What is the energy uh, the, of the unknown factor coming in? Wow, it's the Eight of Pentacles. And what is the energy of the near or distant future? Well, look at there. <laughs> the Page of Pentacles. This is interesting because it really speaks to some type of, um, I don't know what the word is. What is underneath the, uh, over the entire reading? There you have it, the Ace of Wands. This is really a good reading, Sagittarius. And so things have been kind of particularly in the uh, arena of career and perhaps even finances. Um, this spread says that, uh, you know, things are going to change. Now, the thing about full moons is that if there are any decisions that you need to make around the full moon, I, I suggest that you wait about three days after the full moon um, because, you know, going back to that eclipse, it was something that you didn't see back then that may now be coming to fruition. Um, I have a five, an eight, and a nine. Now, this is interesting to me because the Hierophant can be the marriage card, okay? 
So this could be about joining forces with someone. I don't know if maybe some of you did get married. I don't know. Um, and the person's wealthy and maybe y'all are working together or you're working really hard together on building something. Um, <clears throat> but this card also speaks to um, organizations like universities and colleges, uh, sometimes hospitals. So anywhere there's a hierarchical structure with one head on the top who tells everybody else what to do. It is a Venus card. Okay, this card also can be represent someone who can give you sometimes good advice uh, if needed. Someone's willing to help you. We do see these two people here at the base, the acolytes and the two cross keys at his feet. So I'm not exactly sure if this was like a job interview or something. If um, maybe it was between you and another person. Either way, this is a lovely spread. Now, I have the King of Pentacles here, um, and I also have, and what's interesting is we go from the Hierophant, a major arcana, to a court card, okay? Uh, this is representative, uh, not only perhaps of a person, but I'm thinking it's more of his position, right? Like he's at the top chain of the top chain, and perhaps this tells me that um, he may be an earth sign individual, so he would be either a Taurus, uh, a Virgo, and or a Capricorn, even though typically he represents a Taurian. Um, but then I have this page, and pages are always messages or news, so he's sending out some offer here. There's an offer here on the table. There's a news code. And the reason why I say it's an offer is because this pentacle that the page is holding is that pentacle that he has there. Okay? He's sending that pentacle out. There's a message here. And quite frankly, we go eight, nine pentacles, eight page, that's still nine pentacles. And then all the pentacles together give me ten pentacles. Oh, okay? Which is really a great card um, to have in your reading, particularly with this ace here. So what I'm going to do, because I cannot look at these court cards here, because typically they represent people, I'm going to see if there's anything that the, the cards can tell me, these three cards, as they relate to the Hierophant. Now, the Nine of Cups never tells me anything except that it's the Wish card, right? And that things will be, you know, you'll be feeling pretty satisfied with yourself, or... Uh, you know, it just, it never really gives any information. It's a yes. So if there was a question here, then the, the, the answer is yes. <clears throat> okay. It speaks to a completion of events. It's a nine. Um, It can tell that, you know, of your wishes coming true and something that you worked hard for comes to fruition. It indicates material gains and reaping the rewards for hard work well done in the past and tells of satisfaction with your own personal achievements. What it doesn't tell me is anything next to this Hierophant here. So let me move to the, I'm near the back of the book. Let me move to the Eight of Pentacles. And I like the Eight, and the Eight is also a movement uh, number because it says that, you know, it's, it's, you're nearing the end of the cycle with that page there, that nine. Again, it's like two nines. So sometimes I've seen uh, the two nines show up where it may be that you might be moving or you might get a better place to stay or you might get a promotion and change jobs you know not necessarily where you are actually moving moving right um let me see here i'm looking at the eight of pentacles mm -mm, doesn't tell me anything next to this card I want to take a look at something uh, because two nines could suggest a house move or a change of address. Three nines, and there's an implied three nine here, uh, implies good luck and or a surprise windfall. I mean, ugh, I don't know what else you want me to tell you. 
And so the Ace of Wands here, it is a one card. And so it tells me that here it is. This is over the whole reading. And that now that makes sense to me. Now it makes sense. Because if we travel this way, right? Well, it's almost like you're getting everything you wanted, but it goes to back to an eight, right? You're working hard again. So here, the ace of, wait a minute, is that the swords? I want the wands. I'm in the wrong section, so hang on one second. It says the good news is on the way within the following 12 weeks. So have a positive attitude and outlook as wonderful events and, and situations will be coming your way. So 12 weeks. And if we look at 12 weeks, we're looking at near the end of the year. Okay? Something about this near the end of the year. It asks you to remain alert to positive offers in any form of communication. It is a message to accept all offer invitations and to look out for a letter, email, or telephone call which will herald great news. Accept any invitations offered, whether social or work-related. Remember, opportunity can come from any source. This card can be pertaining to business circles and contacts. It is a particularly promising card particularly if you are starting or trying to start out a new business venture or project as it shows that ability and creativity are there to make sure make it a sure success so uh, I, I don't think there's anything here that I can say to you about this reading except that and I want to take a look quickly at this one to see this Hierophant card here. He is a five. It indicates that you will be receiving sound counsel from an older person, perhaps unrelated to yourself, which allows you to see more clearly the steps needed to get where you want to be. You just need to decide exactly where that is. That's why you, you have to go back to the drawing board. You're working hard at it now. If you are questioning career options and the Hierophant appears, it may be an indication that working for a large organization would best suit you at this time. It can also indicate that there will be a renewed interest perhaps in uh, religion and or the spiritual metaphysical realm. And this is all the Hierophant says. It suggests that you are comfortable with socially accepted rules and behavior and as a result assimilate easily as you are well liked you will have no trouble finding generous people to share their experiences with you to help you continue on your way with much success I mean I can't tell you anything else about this I think there are perhaps three to four more things that you may need to complete and the reason why I say that is he's holding a pentacle he's holding but there's two left at your feet there's two more things that you need to complete see those two pentacles then you're going to be given a third thing and a fourth thing so why don't I just there's no need for me to even pull because I don't feel any negative energy coming off of this spread now this reading can't be true for everybody right and that requires a personal reading. Um, but it is some good news on the way. This most definitely some good news on the way. It doesn't necessarily look like a marriage to me. But, you know, what do I know? Um, hmm, quite interesting. All right, here we go. 
There's more than one way to, to have a marriage, you know what I'm saying? A partnership, so. This card says, which is funny, listen to your intuition. That's what it says. Now, I don't know why it's telling you to do that, but I think the full moon in Leo open reading that I just did, this was the same card that came out, okay? So, that's what I have for you for August 2021, Sagittarius. I'm really pleased I can bring you that that message. And so until next time, be well, stay safe, and namaste.